All right, there is no try. There's only do okay, in the clutch this, place. This is from Harbor Freight, pneumatic air operated brake bleeder with auto refill kit. All right, so is this gonna be a dud or is this, <laughs> this gonna be awesome? I don't know, we got instructions. We got all kinds of fittings. If it doesn't work for oh, bleeding your brakes, you know, you just pressurize it and then if if not, put some you can use this out. as a bug sprayer probably. Cuz and then this is for like, you know, around your house. I don't this is weird. That's the reservoir refill bottle. Okay. So you fill that up and I think you stick this on top of your Oh. Set that on top of the um, cylinder, master cylinder. Master cylinder. Mm. Looks like it's pressurized. Like yeah, there it is. It with the compressor. Yeah, it's. I just saw a compressor schematics. <coughs> yep. Oh, lubricated too. Yeah, these are just showing you different portable oh. versus a stationary. Yeah. Gotcha. Alrighty. Well, there's where it hooks up. Man, this is. Raining brake master cylinder. Yeah, it fit, fit on there just fine. So it's gonna pressurize brake. That seems like a ton of brake fluid it would have in there. <laughs> I gotta go buy a couple gallons of brake <laughs> fluid first. <laughs> we get a pint to do. You would need one gallon of brake fluid to do this. <laughs> But if your brakes end up being great, okay, the air goes on there. How do you know how much air to put in there? You'd think it says 100 eight, pounds of pressure. No, it said eight to, uh, somewhere in here it said. Eight pounds. HVLP, brake leader, high volume, low pressure. Yeah. Working air pressure, 60 to 120. Look how pressurized them brakes, let me tell you. You're going to have to read instructions. No, I know. I'm just looking at... So our viewers yeah, don't must, have to. Okay, that must clip on the side of your reservoir. Well, it says something about draining the master cylinder. We don't want to do that. No. Do okay. This has to go... Refill bottle, refill bottle cap, supply nozzle assembly, adjustment screw, fluid control valve, that's this thing, base, base clamp. Bleeder reservoir, four quarts. And all those adapters are just depending on what kind of brakes you have. 64 inch wand to remove old brake fluid from master cylinder. Oh, well, we're not doing Two that. Two bottle adapters, 74 inch brake bleeding hose. Removal lid, empty reservoir, bleed house wand, attachment port. Well, this goes in there. I guess that's, that's that and that. And then I think, depending on what you want, the little total bleed screw adapters go on the end of that, probably. Yeah, these are the bleed screw. Yeah, go on your each cylinder, wheel yeah, cylinder. You put, you put different ones on the end, I guess, probably, to hook into whatever type you got. They all look the same size. Oh, uh, yeah. They're not marked. Is there four of them? Uh, it just shows three of these. Three of them. Three on the picture, but oh, there's one attached to it, too. See? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. There you go. See, it's See? over there. I'm afraid it ain't gonna jip you. What you. are these two things? I don't know. You're me read the box, or you doing the video, or am I? I'm supposed to be the camera oh, boy. You're the camera boy. <clears throat> well, those screw on. Those from the picture look like two bottle adapters. Bottle adapters. Okay. Looks like that right there. The refill bottle. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. Fill. 
with clean new brake fluid. Use only kind of floss. And you don't have new brake fluid, do you? I've got some over there. But you got six gallons like you need? <laughs> Down to 40 ounces. It says four quarts. <laughs> The whole system only takes a pint. <laughs> I need four quarts to fill it. I got it. Okay, you dropped something else too? Yeah. Fell out of there. A little garden hose seal. I don't know what it is. Okay, well that doesn't go into that, because it's but they're threaded like that. Okay, remove the cap. Fill that with fluid. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Master cylinder cap. We'll be back on once we read more, cylinder. so you don't have to. That's right. All right, so it's got two different caps. So you can take and fill this reservoir tank up if you want. Okay. Or you can use just a bottle, which would also work the same way with the device that goes on your master cylinder. Oh. And this could go on there. Okay. And there are two different sizes of, of fittings. Lids for the different, for different brake size. containers. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, and what we figured out. And what we did, because there's two of us, he went under and was at the brakes and I was up at the master cylinder just topping off with this. This, uh, this fits up to your air. Now it's got air, and when you turn this valve on, oh, it. this is this is sucking. Really? Yeah, it's like that little vacuum. It must have a, a valve in there that's pulling the air because it's coming out here. So, I mean, you can really suck in there. So, you loosen, get your tool on there, loosen it up, put this on the, the metal nipple that's Fitting. on your uh, brake cylinder. So, wheel cylinder, but brake cylinder. And then... You lost oh, me at metal nipples, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, but we'll show, we'll show you. You kind of zoned out. Whoa. <laughs> metal nipples. What, what do you do with those? And then this, <laughs> this will turn upside down with brake fluid. Yeah. And you can screw that to the side of your master cylinder and it will it will keep draining so you don't have to have two. One, one person. But with two people, he's got one in his hand. You can just keep pouring in as it's sucking it down out of the master cylinder. Have somebody just keep pouring it in. Gotcha. Which we're going with option two. And you, oh, you need a uh, screwdriver to pop that back off. Yeah, there's a small one up here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna look, see what he's doing up there then watch what you're okay. doing. Let me get the light. So better as a two-person job is what you think? Eat, eat, well, probably. If you're by yourself, you can do it fine. By yourself, you can do it fine, okay. Yeah, you just gotta fill the big reservoir up and let it sit here. Oh, gotcha. So you could go down and do all your business, suck through. Yeah, with that big reservoir replenishing your master cylinder here, as you're sucking it out, it's just going to keep gotcha. keep the level okay, up. Okay, but you're keeping I'm a smaller keeping one up. full, is what you're doing? He's on the back brake, so yeah, the front. So as he's pulling it through, you're just making sure the reservoir stays full? Correct. Gotcha. Okay, so I need to be on the smart end down there to see what Probably. he's doing. Because you're You'll just... see some fluid coming out, I mean, unless you want to watch it drain out of here. Uh, that's not very interesting. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> That's why I got this job. Okay. You get the dumb end? <laughs> All right, I need a little chair. Okay. Someone was sanding today. Uh, no, it was not raining. Okay. You leave your windows down? Okay, we got to get on your wheel cylinder. Loosey goosey. Put it on there, and then what I did, I loosened it and took this off. So I think it was sucking some air. So it's best to go ahead and put that on there. Then open it. Open up your air. Now you'll watch, it'll start 
takes a second for it to start sucking up. There the fluid's coming. Oh, I see some. But it'll get a lot more than that. Let me see if I can open it a little more. There we go. Now I'll look at it. Yeah, I see. It looks like dirty fluid. I thought you put all new lines on there. I did. All new lines, new fluid. Oh, I can't really see, but... Hold on. Stop it, Pop. He said the master cylinder is doing something. Master just, when I pour it in here, I can see it's clouding. Oh, okay. uh, the ma it's an old master cylinder then. He, you didn't get any master cylinder? I don't think so. Oh, okay. So it's sucking all the old everything out through the line, including all the air, everything. Yes. And I just hold pressure on this. Yeah. And you can run it. I think it looks like it's got air in it, but I think it's sucking air around the thread of your bleeder. And now if you tighten. I think cut it off. Yeah. And then tighten it up, and then that sucks it all out of the tube and shut it off. I see. And then, if you had your reservoir up there to, to drip in, it's a one man job. So, hopefully, that, that's what the that container there is. Yes, that flips upside down and keeps the reservoir floor full. full. Gotcha. Kind of like when you water plants and you put a bottle in the thing, it's a dog waterer. Yeah, it doesn't, that's exactly what it is. So. You call him this challenger a dog. Oh, I see. There's it's everything it sucked here. out of it. Yeah, I see. Are you doing another one? Yeah, I want to do the other back ones. Oh, okay. Is there a science to doing the back ones first versus the front ones? Or? I would say you do the back ones first when it's a new system because they're the furthest from the master cylinder. Gotcha. You want your light? Yeah. That's what every book tells you to do. If you read the book. If you read. If you can read. If you think you know it all, do whatever you want. All right, then we this, push. Is, this is much better than the old uh, push the pedal in. Yeah, up, up down, down, push, push, close. Rinse, repeat 1,000 times and yeah. it's still squishy pedal. Okay. Takes a second for it to start pulling. There it comes. Let's see that. Yeah, look, this one's cleaner over here. I say it's not. Uh, it's got a little tarnish in it. Yeah, I was thinking all the brake fluid that I got, that you would uh, have it pulled through and it would be fine, but I'd say let's trash this. Yeah, we'll trash this. This is too dirty. You can see it in the hose, it's really... Isn't brake fluid clear when you put it in? Yes, it's the master cylinder. So you're cleaning the master cylinder right now, putting all the dirt through all the lines? Yeah. Probably. That's smart. That's smart. Hey, that's the way we do it. Clark's place. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shut this one off. It's running for pretty solid. Okay, that's pretty snug. Take this off and tighten it better. Okay. I mean, almost everybody that works on their cars watching these videos, I'm sure, has an air compressor. So. Oh yeah, I would think. And it's just a standard <laughs> fitting. Yeah. But yeah, cool. look at that. That fluid is pretty dirty. Yeah, we should we should have not pulled it all through the master cylinder. No. I wouldn't think that's pretty dirty. Every time I kept filling this up, I could see it swirling dirt. You know, mud yeah. looking around. If you're putting a brand new master cylinder and all that on, you're never going to have this. Yeah. The, okay. The so don't do what we did at Clark's place and use an old master cylinder. Well, that's what came with the car, and I didn't know it was probably it's set. 
and got corrosion in it. You're gonna end up buying a new master cylinder and then we're gonna do this all again with a new master cylinder okay. and pulling all this crap out of all the lines. Yeah, but look how in. quick it is. Yeah, it is. And it's, it is it's not even messy. Well, at $25 a gallon for brake fluid, it's not cheap to do this. I know. I know. It's weird. It was, I think it was $25 a gallon for 0 W20 uh, for my Jeep for five quarts, or it was $11.99 for one quart. It's like, um, <laughs> I'm buying two five quart containers, which <laughs> that's what I bought. Oh. <laughs> So I got two of these to change the oil in the Jeep. Oh yeah, good. This was, hold on, let me look at the receipt. I think they were 25, they might have been 35, but still, that's... And then we've good. got plenty of fluid for oh, yeah. his charger, the Daytona build, mm -hmm. and another Daytona, that another one, charger. Doing this one, doing this one. Yeah. More outside. So... You already did the front ones? We're gonna dump this fluid. Oh, why? It's just a reservoir that... No, no, I'm talking about this dirty fluid. Yeah, why? It's a gallon container. I just keep filling it up. I'm saying we're not going to keep and reuse that old fluid. Oh, why are you getting rid of it now? Why don't you just go to the front ones and do them? We did the front, we ones. Did the front ones. Oh, so you didn't do what we said in the beginning is do the farthest ones no, first. No, we did the back ones and the front ones, but I said he I had to the tool. The back ones. I loosened it, put it on there, took it off, put the tool on. Mm -hmm. And I think I, I let air back in the line. So I wanted to redo the back oh, ones. Oh, God. But you did do the back ones first. Yes. yes and then when I got start. the front ones, I left the tool <clears> on there. It's like, this is how it should be done. All right. The real test is, do you have brakes now? Yeah, well, let's see. You knew how the pedal felt, didn't you? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little squishy for me. Yeah, a little squishy. Mm. Squishy, squishy. Stop. Has lights in there. <laughs> when okay. I saw it tucked up in there, I thought, that's probably going to stay there. <laughs> yeah, but it could have crushed it. Yeah, the axle's coming up. Car's dirty. Yeah. Right, somebody's been seeing it in here today. Okay. See how the pedal feels to you. Oh, you took the seat out, huh? Yeah. Go onto the floor. No, well, you need to have the power, too. Yeah. It, it was never solid like that at no. the top. Yeah, it, it's, it's not going all the way to the floor, but it's... Oh, no? Yeah. Okay, then it's probably I think good. it feels a little better, but, yeah, crank you look, it up. You look like a little guy in there. <laughs> <laughs> no <am>. seat. <laughs> Gotta wash my hands. I am the little guy. Alright, so get it running, up to pressure, all that good stuff, and that should be good. Is that what you say? Okay, so, fan of the Holt Industries air operated brake bleeder with auto refill kit. I think that does pretty good. Yeah, I think it did a decent, did a good, quick and easy job. Much easier than the hand pump ones that you gotta create a vacuum with. Oh yeah, how much Harbor, was this? Harbor Freight, this? 79 or 89 dollars at Harbor Freight. Yeah, okay, well. And if you're gonna do a few cars. There's not much that can break on the dang thing. No. It's just, no, a, that's, it's just a vacuum, that's so. That's heavy vacuum. Yeah, that could hold up to, you said 100? 120 to 100 60 to 120 PSI operating. Well, I took it down to 110. I bled it down. So we can say this thing sucks. Yes, it does. It sucks hard. It up. It works good, and then this stuff comes out, I guess, if you want to store it. Yeah, throw it back, back in the box. Bags, back Put it in the box so it doesn't end up with all my Bondo dust all yep. over it. Yep. So, we'll put these back in their bags. No other things to say? You like them, huh? Yeah, I think this is a good system. Cool. I had the little Eastwood pump mm -hmm. uh, with your hands, and... That's so slow compared to this. It your will be your hand eBay got tired. It will be on yeah. eBay shortly. Okay, good deal. <laughs> we'll, yeah. we'll give that away to our 500th subscriber, one of our subscribers. Maybe. Sorry about your hand later. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.